What the heck is osteoarthritis? What is rheumatoid arthritis? And what is the difference? How do I know which one I have? Well, I'm going to talk about that today. So we're going to talk today about the two main types of arthritis. There are different ones, but these are typically the two most common. What some of their symptoms are, and then maybe what some of the treatment differences are. So the first one is osteoarthritis. And I talk about osteoarthritis all the time, but osteoarthritis is typically what you hear when people say I have knee arthritis or I have arthritis in my back. A lot of the times they're talking about osteoarthritis. It's a form of inflammation that comes into our joints. It's a chemical process, comes into our joints and kind of wreaks havoc on some of our cartilage. Then it causes pain and you can have pain with walking, morning stiffness is a big sign of osteoarthritis that kind of gets better as you get moving. Pain flare-ups, eating a lot of inflammatory foods can make a difference, but there mainly is pain in the bigger joints. So it's common in knee, hips, low back. You can also get it in your hands, in your neck, in your feet, but it's primarily in those bigger joints. The pain is typically pretty localized to those joints. So say if you have knee arthritis, your pain typically stays in your knees and you might even only have it in your knees or you might even only have it in one area of your body. Now, of course, it can spread to other parts of your body, but it primarily stays pretty localized. You have some localized dull aching pain that usually improves with some movement. Now, some movement is gonna flare up that pain. And a lot of times you notice more pain after overactivity. So after doing a lot of activity, you might notice some achiness, some soreness, maybe even some difficulty sleeping. So usually arthritis, it's in some of the bigger joints. You can have pain flare-ups, that is common. And then usually pain will go away with some movement, but you can also have pain with overactivity and it stays pretty localized to the joints themselves. Now the treatments typically for osteoarthritis are going to be movement is the biggest one. Diet modification is also a big one. So it's a lot of lifestyle changes. And then once you tackle those, a lot of times if you're having a pain flare up, even some NSAIDs or some pain relievers can help for that temporary pain and give that temporary relief. But you do want to build that muscle strength. Exercise has been shown over and over and over again to help improve osteoarthritis. But they have shown that because of the chemical process and the inflammatory nature, that diet modification is huge as well. So on the other hand, rheumatoid arthritis typically tends to affect more than one joint. So many times this also affects some of the smaller joints. So rheumatoid arthritis is an overall systemic reaction which is why it usually tends to affect the smaller joints and more than one joint. And so if you have pain in your hands, in your elbows, in your feet or ankles, and everything just kind of feels like it's aching, you may also have or experience some burning, some sharpness. So it might not be just that dull ache. There might be a little bit more spice behind it. You might also notice that your joints become red, inflamed, maybe a little bit more swollen. Another thing that you might notice is when you wake up in the morning, so morning stiffness is common with osteoarthritis, but in rheumatoid arthritis, the stiffness tends to last a little bit longer. So when you have osteoarthritis, typically within about 30-ish minutes of movement, getting up, walking, doing some simple things, the stiffness does tend to resolve. But rheumatoid arthritis, it tends to stay a little bit longer. Another symptom of rheumatoid arthritis is that the pain seems to kind of come out of nowhere. And it might feel like that a little bit with osteoarthritis, but osteoarthritis, it's typically kind of a gradual progression. You start to notice your knee aches sometimes, and then it starts to ache a little bit more and a little bit more. Rheumatoid arthritis is essentially sometimes, not always, but sometimes 
everything hurts all at once and it just feels more sudden. And that is because osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition. And so it is essentially your body kind of attacking its own cells. And then that kind of starts to wreak havoc on everything else. So with rheumatoid arthritis, when we think of some of the treatments, usually medication tends to have to be involved with rheumatoid arthritis. And that is because we do have to kind of alter some of the chemistry in our bodies that might not necessarily be fully helped with exercise and diet like osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis, you typically don't need any medications or you typically don't need any sort of extra help. So a lot of times it can just be managed conservatively. Now there are, of course, other cases where you do need a little bit, you are a little bit more reliant on pain medication and that sort of thing. But with rheumatoid arthritis, you are a little bit more reliant on that medication route. Now that doesn't necessarily mean medication is the end all be all because movement and diet changes also make a big impact on pain with rheumatoid arthritis. If you have rheumatoid arthritis or you suspect you have rheumatoid arthritis, there is a test that can be ran for the rheumatoid factor, which is typically a blood test. And typically you have to go see particularly a rheumatologist for that, but your primary care might be able to do that. Compared to osteoarthritis, they usually kind of see your x-rays, see how you're moving, report your symptoms, and then they can make a diagnosis. Where rheumatoid arthritis, you typically have this rheumatoid factor, and then that leads to more of a diagnosis with the symptoms and everything else. And I always tell people, because I always get the question, you know, should I see a special doctor? And I did do a video on this. But usually if you're noticing kind of these sudden symptoms, even other symptoms other than kind of that sharp pain, the redness of your joints, you might notice more fatigue. You may notice it with osteoarthritis too, just because of poor sleep. But with rheumatoid arthritis, you do notice a little bit more fatigue just because it's a whole body reaction. So you might notice some of those other symptoms as well. It's hard to recover, that sort of thing. So the symptoms just might be a little bit more magnified. And if pain just does not seem to go away, this could be a sign of rheumatoid arthritis as well. Now again, thinking of those smaller joints, lots more joints are usually affected. But again, osteoarthritis, you can have it in more than one joint. Pain can be severe where it seems like it won't go away. But rheumatoid arthritis, we have to kind of think, it's just a little bit different. I have met people who show a commonality of symptoms. So they have a little bit of osteoarthritis symptoms, but also are showing a little bit of rheumatoid arthritis symptoms. And for those, because you can mix and match, you know, you can have different types of pain, you can have different joints involved. So sometimes it can get kind of gray determining which type of arthritis you have. But in conclusion, I just want you to think very briefly about some of these things. And just to kind of wrap up, so osteoarthritis, typically it's in the larger joints, typically dull achiness, stiffness in the morning, but tends to resolve with movement and then pain during the day, stiffness during the day continues to resolve with movement. You might have some pain with overactivity, but you're usually pretty quick to re recover. Rheumatoid arthritis, smaller joints, red, inflamed, swollen. You might even have a little bit of that different pain, that sharp, that shooting, some of that other more severe pain might be a little bit slower to recover. But then also you might notice that stiffness kind of stick around a little bit longer and you might notice some other symptoms, fatigue, nausea, just some things that just don't seem right. And it's also, a, it tends to be a little bit more sudden as well compared to osteoarthritis. So I hope that this was helpful and I hope this kind of gives you some idea that if you were having some of those symptoms, now you can kind of put them into a little bit more of a bucket so we can kind of decide which one if you think you have osteoarthritis, then I would definitely, definitely, definitely start working on a movement program and then really kind of look at your diet. Seek out a professional to give you some tips. 
a rheumatoid arthritis, if you're dealing with some of those symptoms, I would potentially seek out a rheumatologist because they specialize more in that rheumatoid arthritis realm. So that way we can, again, find you a movement program, get some diet modifications, but also potentially get you on some sort of medication to start to regulate your body systems. All right, my name's Alyssa and I'm the doctor of physical therapy, founder of Keep the Adventure Alive Physical Therapy and Performance. We're based in Utah. So you can go to my website, www.keeptheadventurealive.com for more information. And then also don't forget to subscribe to this channel below by clicking that red button. If you did like this or did find this helpful, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Thank you guys so much for watching.